welcome back to the Jordy View. Newcastle United take on Tramia Rovers in the Cabral Cup second round uh, tomorrow night at Prenton Park. 7.45 kick off and it is live on Sky Sports who will probably be wanting uh, Tramia to cause an upset. But um, hopefully we can avoid an upset. I'm not going to lie. I am probably more nervous than usual for a match against, you know, clubs from lower leagues because I think it's more because of, you know, how embarrassing the, la the loss would look for us. Plus, I remember that horrible afternoon against Cambridge in the FA Cup last season uh, when we lost 1 0. Um, and cut upsets do happen in the Carroll Cup as well. But um, looking at the last games of the, both these sides. We drew 3-3 with Man City. I was gutted we didn't win after being 3-1 up. You know, they uh, Man City scored early on. You're thinking, oh, it's going to be a long afternoon. But then we deservedly got back level through Almiron. And then Wilson made it 2-1 before half-time. Wilson, sorry, Trippier, cracking free kick and make it 3-1. In Dreamland, but Man City just scored twice in quick succession. I'll still take the draw, though. I mean, after Man City scored those two goals, you're probably fearing they would go and crew, be crawlers and uh, get a fourth and win the game. Um, as for Tramia, they lost 2-1 to Newport County on the Saturday in uh, League 2. So that leaves them 17th in the league. One win, one draw, five de sorry, three defeats from their opening five games. They've only scored three goals and they've conceded five. So not a very good start for them. They will be looking to um, get back up the tail if they can. Um, and um, they did beat Watford 3-2 in the FA Cup. So um, we can't just, in, in 2020, so we can't just think it's going to be a walk in the park. I mean, I think Eddie Howe's talked about, you know, Cambridge. That defeat should somewhat help motivate us for uh, these games to realise, you know, it's not going to be a walk in the park. You know, we've got to take these games uh, seriously. You know, whatever side he puts out. Um, so um, we'll look at the team news for Newcastle. Shelby obviously has a long-term injury. Callum Wilson is out with a thigh injury. Hopefully he won't be out too long. Sorry, a hamstring injury. But it shows why we are after a striker. Uh, Jao Pedro, there's talk of him coming for 25-30 million from uh, Watford. I'm not convinced by his goals tally, but I suppose it's an upgrade on um, Dwight Gill's left for Stoke City. And he doesn't have to take up Premier League space. Plus, I think he can play on the wing as well as up top. Uh, Dan Byrne is out injured. I think he got a concussion against Man City, so he'll be missing uh, tomorrow's game. Um. Fernandez, Lewis have both got calf injuries. Target has that, that thigh problem. Uh, Fraser, groin strain. I mean, they're all 25%, but I wouldn't be r rushing any of them back. Um, so now we'll get into the side that I want to go with. 4 3 3, as usual. Um, there might be a couple of surprises in here. Obviously, he won't. Eddie Howe will not play strong side, but it will be a side that's more than good enough to win the game. So, starting off in goal, Martin Dubravka, he is currently second choice at the minute, but I would play him. I, I mean, I wouldn't play Nick Pope um, in this game because you know what will happen if. Um, I mean, it's unlikely, but fans will be like, why didn't you play Nick Pope? Or, sorry, why did you play Nick Pope if he was to get an injury in this game? But I'm going to stick with, uh, going to play Martin Dubravka in goal. Um, I mean, if we played Darlow, he'd probably be, do a job. I've got more confidence in uh, Dubravka. At right back, uh, Emil Kraft will come in. I think Trippier will um, have a rest. Uh, save him for these uh, games. A few games we've got coming up. Centre back Jamal Lascelles will get his first start of the season. Again, he's down the pecking order, but I'd expect him to start tomorrow. And alongside him, I'm actually going to go with Keelan Watts. 
because um, you know Botman, Cher, we want I want to be saving these guys for the upcoming games. I'd like to see Kingdom Watts get a chance. He, he, I don't know if he will really, but uh, be good to see because um, he's someone who will probably be fighting for a squad space potentially at left back. I'm gonna go with Paul Dummett. I'm a I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of questioning why we gave him a new deal and then we played Dan Byrne to left back over him when Dan Byrne's a centre back. I suppose Byrne has no right at uh, left back. But um, I'm going to have to put Paul Dummett into the side. Um, I'd like to see young Matt Bonswell look good in pre season um, on the bench into the midfield. Uh, CDM, this might be another surprise. Uh, Matty Longstaff, because I know it's you'll probably get you probably won't start. I think it's more like he goes out on loan than um, plays. But um, I'm gonna play in there. Just um, I don't trust Sean in the central defence CDM role, and it'd be and obviously Shelby's out at the minute. And to the um, Alongside him in the midfield, I'm going to go with his brother, Sean, who I do trust to do a job there. I mean, if you put him in the CDM role, you could probably do a job, but I don't... But he struggled in that against Man City there last season. But I will start him in the midfield. And the final midfielder, one who I'm pr another one I'm pretty confident will start, Elliot Anderson. Hopefully we'll get his first start. You know, he's here. For the first half of the season with Shelby being injured, he didn't have to take up a squad space. Um, and I'm looking for, and if he does start, I'm very much looking forward to seeing what he can do. Yo, he's already proven he can what he can do against League Two opposition because we've seen it at Bristol Rovers. And um, hopefully, he'll get his first start for the club. Uh, you know, he's another one who um, looked very good in. Uh, Preseason. Um, so the front three on the right wing. I'm gonna go with Jacob Murphy. Didn't do very well when he came against Man City, but I would expect him to do well against Tramia. On the left wing, bit of a surprise again, but Matt Ritchie because I think you'll want to save ASM and Armour on, and obviously Fraser's not gonna be fully fit. So I'm gonna play Matt Ritchie. Um. Despite obviously the uh, rumours that um, he wants to leave, I mean I thought he would have been away by now, but I mean he could still move. But I'm gonna start him in this game, and finally up top. I know we don't re rate him, but I'm gonna go with Chris Wood. I'm hoping he can get at least a goal, uh, help his confidence. Um, and uh, I'm confident he'd, um, you know, do a job. And um, if he scores, then maybe he's give him a chance against uh, Wolves at the weekend. But that's my starting eleven. Let us know yours. Which I just feel like we need these changes. Give players a rest because God remember we've got Wolves on Sunday, Liverpool next Wednesday, and Crystal Palace the Saturday afterwards. Score prediction: I'm gonna go for a three-nil win for Newcastle. Hopefully, it'll just be a comfortable evening um, for us. We don't have to panic and uh, we can just get through safely to the um, third round. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like on the video. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my social media pages in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll uh, see you later.